What's going on guys, Blender Bench here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use shape keys to create eye blinks, mouth movements, and facial expressions inside of Blender 3.0 and above. First things first, we're inside of Blender, we have our character and we're gonna start creating some facial expressions, blinks, or mouth movements. First, we need to select our character, go to the bottom right to this logo icon that says Object Data Properties, and quickly you see Shape Keys. So we wanna hit the plus sign once, and then you see it says basis, so we're gonna hit it again, and it says key one, so this will be your first shape key. So we can double click here and rename it to uh, maybe I underscore closed. And then um, we wanna go to, from object mode to scope mode. And notice if we try to scope on this or move anything around, nothing's happening. And that's because the value is set to zero. You need to raise this up so you can left click and drag to the right to bring it to one. And now we can start to move these things around. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back. And first things first, what I wanna to do to create this eye blink or eye closed is use my uh, mask tool. So I'll go to the left to the brushes and you'll see the lasso mask. And if you don't see this, you'll probably see the box mask. So you can just select this and left click hold and go to lasso mask. And turn on symmetry if it isn't turned on already. So I'm going to hit the X here so I don't have to do the work twice. So what I want to do is just find a good position so I can see this properly. And I'm going to just select the bottom half of the eyelids. So grab the bottom eyelid, drag around. And I'm going to make sure I'm on the first frame so I can see that mask. So once you have this selected, we can press G which is the high key for grab. And we can start to bring this top eyelid down. Knowing a little bit about the human anatomy helps out a ton, guys, because you know how the face, face actually moves and what affects what. Knowing that the common misconception of eyes blinking is that the eyes meet halfway when they blink and that's false. Um, the top eyelid actually goes down lower than the bottom eyelid goes up, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit lower than the halfway mark. And I'm gonna invert the mask by pressing Control I, the keyboard. I'm gonna use the grab tool or grab brush to actually bring this bottom eyelid higher up for the blink. And once you're satisfied, you can clear the mask by pressing Alt M. We have our eyes closed. And if you drag the slider value down, you see the what we actually just created. Nice eye blink. And you can create as many uh, shape keys as you want for different facial expressions. So we can hit the plus sign again, um, change this name from key two to maybe mouth underscore closed. Turn the value up so we can actually see what we're doing. We're gonna use the lasso mask once again, ensure that symmetry is on. And let's just grab the bottom half of the mouth, which is just the bottom lip. A nice ring there. And now we can press G, go to the grab brush. We can start to bring this mouth down. Control I, so we can invert the selection. Bring this bottom lip up just a bit. Then we can press Alt M to clear the mask and we have the mouth closed, just that simple. So you can see the slider go up and down, get some different facial expressions. Give it a nice sassy look. And as well guys, this is really good for creating uh, animations as well. So if you wanted to do an eye blink animation, let's go to eyes closed and let's bring this back down to zero. And um, we're at frame one. So I'm gonna press I in the values slider here. 
And that's our first keyframe. I'm going to slide this down on the timeline to about maybe 20. Change the value from zero to one. Press I once again. Let's go to about 31. Bring the slider back down to zero. Press I in this area. And that's another keyframe. So if we go back to the timeline from frame one and press play, so we have a nice blink animation going on. So now you can see the power of shape keys inside of Blender. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment. And as well, if you guys are wondering, um, this is Toph from the Avatar and her rig will be available um, pretty soon. So uh, make sure you have the notifications turned on so you'll see when I release that for you guys on my YouTube membership or my Patreon. The link in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next video.